to another episode of Park Review. This episode is all about Capitol Reef, so let's just hop right in. Okay, as I usually start Park Review episodes, I usually talk about what I did at Capitol Reef. So I spent two days at Capitol Reef. It was a two-day trip. Um, and yeah, so we first started off by, of course, going to the campground, the Claymore spot at the campground. And all of that because National Park campgrounds are first come first serve, or at least most of them. And yeah, after that we went to Sunrise Point, Panorama Point, and the Goosenecks. All of those over there, really cool. Um, we also stopped by the park sign on our way into the park, so there's that. Um, so that's usual. That's what we did. And then later that night we went to a um, ranger talk at the amphitheater. Um, and yeah, day two was where all the fun stuff came into play. Um, we first, in the morning, hiked Hickman Bridge before it got too hot. Um, very, it's a very worth it hike. It's one of the more popular hikes of the park and all that. And after that, so while, well, okay, this is like a weird part because after that, um, my, um, my mom and my two other siblings, they went to um, the campground to take down the tent while me and my dad hiked our way back because there's a trail that connected the Hickman Bridge trailhead to the, for the campground. It was, it's called the Cohab Canyon Trail. It's about one and a half miles one way and very beautiful hike. I did not take m much pictures of that hike actually. and. I kind of regret doing so, but that's kind of what revisiting some national parks can do, because, yeah. And um, after that, we went down to um, the bottom of the scenic, we took the scenic drive pretty much all the way down, I think at the Capitol Gorge, I think it's called, and we hiked the Pioneer Register Trail, and right after that, we hiked the um, tanks. The tanks is pretty much these little pools of water found in the park. Um, and yeah, you're pretty much scrambling up these rocks to get up to the tanks and it was hot and yeah, but at least we got a good view of the Golden Throne from there. So that's that. Um, and also before we left, we stopped by the Freer Schoolhouse and the Petroglyphs at the park and then stopped by the Visitor Center and got our Junior Ranger, Jun Junior Rangers. So here is the um, Junior Ranger book. I know this is a bit out of context, but here is the Junior Ranger book. Um, very easy to do. Um, it was a fairly easy one to which I was able to do most of it, or pretty much almost all of it. And yeah, so you can See here, here's the back, my certificate with a stamp there. And here is the badge that I got. Pretty cool badge, I think it was worth it. And all of that. What to expect when you visit Capitol Reef National Park. Out of the five Utah National Parks, Capitol Reef is by far the least crowded because it's shadowed by these larger parks of Zion and Arches and Bryce Canyon that it's kind of been shadowed and has been remarked and has been kind of avoided because you have those big name parks and then you have Capitol Reef and you're like, and it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, or sort of. Depends on what part you go to. There's a town just east and west of it. So that's usually that. Um, but yeah, the park isn't really that crowded. Um, every, almost everything, everything is accessible. Um, there is the main park road that goes through the entire thing, through the entire park, and all of that. And there are, so if you, there's the lower section in the, the Strike Valley. To get the Strike Valley, you're going to need to take a dirt road. Um, Park rangers usually suggest about a um, four-wheel drive vehicle to get down there. Um, and there's also the Cathedral Valley, which is a very popular spot 
and was pictured on my on the Junior Ranger badge I just showed. And yeah, that's, there's one road that you can take that is two wheel drive for any two wheel drive vehicles. And yeah, but there's another way in that's shorter but requires a four wheel drive vehicle. So yeah. Um, so. Yeah, so the park is pretty accessible. Um, the Capitol Gorge and um, it's also a dirt road to get in there. Just do note that. Um, when visiting the park, um, it depends on what time of year you go. It can be below freezing to up, sometimes above 100. So um, it depends. It, it just all depends on when you go. Um, preferably times that I would think that would be better to visit would be during the spring or during the fall. Preferably fall because there's not as much snow as there would be in the spring. But spring there would be a lot more color in the park. And all of that. And yeah. So what to do in Capitol Reef? What would I suggest? I would suggest definitely uh, Pikmin Bridge is a really good hike. Um, it's a very short trail, about one and a half miles, if I'm not mistaken. But it's about a one and a half mile long trail, and all of that. And it is, it's rated moderate. I think it's either an easy to a moderate, somewhere between there. But yeah, the other things I would suggest are those three viewpoints: the um, sunset. Um, Panorama and Goosenecks overlooks and viewpoints. That that's definitely a very good. Those are very good spots to view the park. Um, the visitor center is always good um, if you have time. Or this is a really big suggestion. In fact, a lot of people will tell you to visit the orchards there in the fruit section. Um, you can pick fruit. You can get pies at the Guilford House, Guilford House, and all and all those goodies there and you can pretty much just eat apple pie in the middle of a freshly baked apple pie in the middle of a national park which is beware they sell up pretty quick because they're from what I've heard they're really good and um, Cathedral Valley is definitely a very beautiful one if you have the time I would it'd probably be more of a day trip Cathedral Valley as well as Drake Valley that would be a bit more of a day trip other trails I would suggest would be the Cohab Canyon, very beautiful, Pioneer Register, um, Cassidy Arch, I've not hiked that one, but I would suggest it, and um, yeah, that's really it.